a view emerging with the, within investors uh, here in India, uh, Jeff, that some of these IT companies that you mentioned, some of the, the well-managed companies, the stocks of these companies may have run up too, too much too soon. Uh, it may have been because of the rupee, it may have been because the rest of the markets, the rest of the uh, companies, sectors in India uh, were so unattractive that a lot of money went into IT. Uh, do you feel these stocks are fairly valued or do you think that they're getting expensive? Um, well, I mean, uh, the simple answer to that is uh, I'd rather own great companies which are attractively valued or, or fairly valued than, uh, than rubbish at cheap valuations. And my answer to that, to that particular question is, uh, you know, although they're no longer cheap, that's true, um, it's fair to say that the IT sector um, continues to offer us excellent long-term value and we're happy to hold them. Give us some names of the, some of the IT companies that you find are well-managed and are long-term bets, uh, Jeff. Well, I think TCS is, uh, is top of the list. It has been top of our list for a number of years. It's continued to deliver um, excellent uh, in terms of, uh, not just in terms of the tailwind of the rupee, but in terms operationally. And that's what we're, that's what we're looking for. I think it's fair to say to them, other, other companies in the sector you know, are reasonably well managed as well. I mean, we're obviously looking at Infosys very closely as a potential turnaround. Um, but at this point in time, TCS um, was and continues to be our favorite company in the sector. I also see that you've, you've invested in, in HDFC Bank. Why does banking, Indian banking space, interest you, uh, given the fact that, uh, you know, the banking the sector has been making the headlines for reasons of high NPA levels? I think the simple reason, and we look at banks around the world, you know, all the time in emerging markets and developed develop markets, the two things that really attract us to, to Indian banks are, and particularly something like HDFC, is that they do banking. Um, you know, they basically uh, take in depositors' money and they, and they, and they, uh, and they loan it out. Um, if you look at a lot of banks in, around the world, whether they're involved in investment banking or brokerage or other sorts of, um, you know, playing the markets, um, you know, that's one of the things that we don't like about banks. HDFC for Bank for many, many years has done exactly that, basically, to, uh, to lend to their consumers and earning a good margin and doing it very, very well. And that's why we like that company. Is there any, anything in the domestic consumption uh, story of India that people have been talking about? Does that interest you at all, uh, Jeff, from a long-term investment standpoint? Would you, would you consider domestic consumption as, as a long-term bet? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think whenever we invest in emerging markets, the first port of call for us is always consumption. That's the, you know, the long-term story for, for, for countries, not just India, but other emerging markets as well. And so, yes, I mean, companies like ITC, for example, you know, it's a com again, it's a company that we've owned for a very long time, will continue to own for a very long time uh, because they have an unusual sort of uh, business model, which they have, uh, you know, very good pricing power as well as decent volume. And so, you know, that's... That's, that's attractive. Um, in the past, although we don't own at this point in time, we, we've owned Hindustan Lever and other companies in that space like Nestle, for example, are, are, are interesting. So, you know, we do like the consumption, consumption pace in India, but one has to be a bit selective because of competition.